In this video, you will know exactly how to set up a simple HTTP request node that can search the web to grab the information you want and then feed it into your automation workflow. So for this example, we're using this simple workflow to grab the product name from our Google Sheets, and we're going to search each one of those products on the internet to find their UPC code, and eventually we're going to append the UPC code right on the same sheet. At the end, it's going to send us a Telegram message saying that it has been completed. So now let's take a look at how we set this up. So first, you're going to have a trigger, and the second node is going to be the Google Sheet. And for this part, you're going to, assuming that you have already connected to the Google Sheet, uh, we have another video going over exactly how to do that, and I'm going to leave that in the description. So once you uh, have your credentials all linked up, for the resource, you will select Sheet Within Document. For the operation, you're going to select the Get Rows. And for the document, once you have uh, your credential connected, you will simply click on the drop down menu and select the, uh, the document name. In this case, we're using product name as the, the file. And then from the sheet, you will reference sheet one for this particular example where all of our products are listed on sheet number one. And you're going to leave the filters and combine filters blank and hit test. It should be able to grab all the product name directly from the sheet. We have 20 items. Now, in order for the HTTP request node to work, we're going to have to search one item at a time. But for now, we have 20 items. We cannot search 20 items all at once using this HTTP request node. So we're going to have to use a batch split node in order to break that down one by one. So we are setting up this batch split node and we're going to feed one item at a time into this node. So now the next thing we need to do is to set up our uh, HTTP request node to use the SERP API. In this case, we're using this API called Serper API, which is right here. Once you have created your account, log in to your dashboard and go over to API key. I want you to generate an API key. Make, make sure that's secure. Copy it and head back over to NA10. And right here, actually, let's set up our URL first. You will copy this exact URL and then paste that in here. And for the authentication, you will select the generic credential type. For generic auth type, you will select custom auth. And for the custom auth, you will select custom auth account. Leave the query parameters untoggled, and then toggle send headers. For specify headers, use um, fields below. For the header parameters, for the name, you will type in exactly this right here, x-api-key. For the value, this is where you will paste in your API key. So you will go to your server API, go to API key, and copy this key right here. Head back over to NA10 and, pa and uh, paste that right in here. For the next section, you will toggle send body, and you will choose JSON as the content type, and you will specify the body using JSON. And for the JSON field, you will use this exact expression right here, which you can copy um, in the description below. So if we execute our previous node, we can grab our schema handlebar and uh, simply drag the information in here. So what we're doing here is we're using um, the query expression. Where you, so for so what we're doing here is we're using the query parameter and we are searching for UPC for a particular product. And all we have to do is drag in the name of the product 
from our batch split node, which is right here. We can click on the schema handlebar for the product name and then drag that in here. So it will, what it will look like when we search for it is UPC4 Traeger Pro 575 pellet to grill. Okay, so now if we hit test, it's going to search this particular product on the web. And here we can see all of the organic results. One, two, three, four, five, just like that. And then the next thing we need to do is unpack the object. Since our uh, organic search results, the output is giving us is a object. And what we need to do is impact the object. And you can use a code node, which you can um, screenshot this or just uh, copy and paste to this particular code. It's going to convert the object into a JSON file. Just like that. We have 10 items. And in the next node, we're going to combine all of the SERPs into one item so you can use this code right here which you can find it in the description below so what we want to do is to feed this all of the SERP information inside this one item and uh, feed that into a um, AI agent in this case we have a UPC finding agent where we're using GPT 4.0 and here is the exact prompt what we're saying is, based on the search results right here, which we have combined all of it into one item, and then all of the links, please find the UPC code for this particular item. Uh, basically, the prompt is goes through each search results and review the title and the snippets for a common 12-digit digit UPC code. And this is exactly what I want. I only want the UPC code and the exact product name. And all I want is the UPC code from uh, the output. So if we hit test, it's going to go over the organic search results and output the UPC code and the product name and the URL. Okay. And now if we head back over to Canvas, the next thing we need to do is to update our Google Sheet by appending the UPC code to our ex existing Google Sheet. So if we open up our Google Sheet, we will select the exact same document and we are appending the information back into our uh, sheet, which is sheet number one. We're going to map each column manually. And for the column to match on, we're going to select the row number. And for the values to update, we're going to update our row number. We can grab the row number right here from the batch split node. If you drag that schema right in here, it's going to be red because it's referencing the previous node. However, we're referencing this from a couple nodes before. So all you have to do is highlight the items and type in first and parentheses and that should turn it into green. And for the product name, you will reference the previous node, which is the AI agent node, and you would simply drag in the schema handlebar for the product name right in here, and then the UPC code right here. And if we hit test, it's gonna output that uh, information and append that UPC code right here, just like that. Now, once all 20 items have been processed through this workflow, it's going to complete and send us a message to our Telegram. So what we can do is open up our Telegram. We have already set up our chat ID and uh, credential. So inside the Telegram, we have already set up our chat ID. And in the text field, I can say I have completed UPC fetching. Please take a look. And here we can actually paste in our uh, URL to our Google Sheet. So inside our Google Sheet, just go to File and go to Share and Share with Others. 
and we can simply just um, copy this link, head back over to N10 and paste that link right in here. All right. So one thing I forgot to mention is to add a wait node right after the Google Sheet. So adding a two second wait will uh, give the API call a break to the Google Sheet so that it doesn't uh, overwhelm the server. So now this is pretty much the setup we have. So if we hit test workflow, we should be able to see this entire process. It's gonna grab the data from the Google Sheet grab the UPC code and append that to the Google Sheet, just like that. And now the UPC fetching has complete, and it also sent us a Telegram message saying that, hey, it's completed, you can look at it right here. And now you can see that the UPC code have been added to the Google Sheet, and now you can use this workflow to find affiliate links or using the UPC codes to find the product, find the pricing information, and you can use this workflow to do exactly that. Now, if you want to use this workflow to grab affiliate links, please watch this one next.